Hello everyone, it's December 20th, 2014. Wolfpack 81NC here with my second video. And I wanted to show you guys some of my Golden Age horror comic book collection. Issue number eight, the famous shrunken head cover of The Haunt of Fear. Got a grade of 4.5 CGC and signed by Al Feldstein. Issue number 14 of The Haunt of Fear, which has the story of the origin of the old witch. Famous ghastly Graham Ingalls cover. Issue number 16 has a Ray Bradbury story on the inside. Again, a ghastly Graham Ingalls cover. Just love the old witch. Sorry for the glare. My favorite comic book cover of all time Issue number 17 of The Haunt of Fear. Ghastly Graham Ingalls. Just a beautiful cover. Love that cover. Issue number 18 of The Haunt of Fear. Has another Ray Bradbury story and uh, this is my second favorite cover um, again by Ghastly Graham Ingalls The Old Witch just love the artwork Looks like your most horrible nightmare. And I love it. Issue number 21, The Home of Fear. Issue number 23 of The Home of Fear. Next up, I'll show you guys some of my Tales from the Crypt issues. Issue number 33 of Tales from the Crypt. This particular issue has the Crypt Keeper's uh, origin story in this. My favorite Jack Davis cover, issue 37, Tells from the Crypt. Just an amazing zombie on the cover here. Beautiful. Issue number 40, Tells from the Crypt. All of these EC covers were just so creative. And the last issue of the Tales from the Crypt, issue 46. This is a fairly difficult issue to get a hold of. It took me a little while, but I was able to get this issue at a fairly good price. It's not of the best condition, but still had to have it. The cover is pretty good. Some writing there on the sea of the Crypt pencil. But overall, Beautiful book, beautiful cover. Next, we'll show you some of my Vault of Horror. I'll take these books, put them aside. Issue number 
Issue number 25 of the Vault of Horror. Johnny Craig cover. Issue number 26. My favorite of the Vault of Horror, issue 30. Stomach upset. Issue 37. And the final issue of my collection, issue 38. Some other books here I wanted to show you guys. This isn't so much horror, but still it's uh, sci-fi. I just love this Al Feldstein cover. Weird Fantasy, issue 13. I just love the colors of the planet that he drew on this cover. Beautiful. Shock Suspense Stories, issue 3. Moving along um, the end of my EC comics to Mysterious Adventures, issue 16. I just love this cover. Chilling Tales of Horror. Really cool. LB Cole cover. Spook. Issue 23. This is the only eerie comic that I have, but I'd love to get my hand some, some more issues. This is issue number 14, Eerie. Next, I wanted to take this out of the bag and board. This is uh, my only issue of this magazine is Haunted, issue number four, but in the, co the cover is a Shelley Moldoff, Moldoff cover. Just love the cover here. But the reason why I took this out of bag and board is I wanted to show you guys. When I purchased this, I wanted to take a look through it. I like I'll do all of my books. Here on the first page, and here at the bottom, Sheldon Shelley Moldoff signed the inside cover of this book. Just an amazing piece. Eventually, I want to send this off to be verified his signature. What a nice surprise, though. Really cool. And finally, my Wonder Comics issue 12. This is actually a Graham Ingalls cover. Bondage cover. You could tell by 
the monster here in the corner by the the work the detail here that this is definitely a Graham Ingalls cover and I looked it up it is but just love the artist where you can point out their work by not even seeing their signature on the piece well everyone that is my uh, golden age uh, horror sci-fi comic book collection I hope you guys enjoyed this um, all of you out there, I hope you have a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, whatever else you practice. I hope everyone has a, a wonderful uh, New Year, and uh, stay safe, and thank you for watching.